This is the one that goes on the wall? Yep. This is a good one. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Okay, I'll tell you when to net him. When you, when you see his head, when I get him laying on his side. Okay, put it underneath him. Oh, get him buddy. over, get him in, get him in. The net might, there we go, that's a nice one. Nice one. Okay. Mark Martin grew up on Muskegon Lake. His dad taught him the shorelines and points, also the bottom structure and the migration routes of walleye. Mark learned that during the day you can catch walleye all right, but rarely the big ones. At First night, he rarely catches the small ones. Oh, geez, oh, Pete. That's a nice walleye, Mark. What yeah, do you think? That's, I'd say until I get him out of the net here. Five pounds? <laughs> Oh, easy five-pounder. Easy five-pounder. Mark easy has five also pounder. developed the touch for okay. catching big walleye. Just wait, just do it like you did before. Okay. This, this is a monster. This is, oh, this is, oh, this is a nice one here. Look at them, look at them out there. Look at them, look at that. That's, I'll, I'll, you better put that one on your wall, Bob. Ooh, look. I'll get them tired here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, she's got to go eight pounds. Okay, slide it, okay. Then put them right in, yeah. Oh. We've learned a lot watching Mark catch walleye. It's tougher than it looks. Those big fish are surprisingly gentle when they strike. We haven't, we haven't been on an hour. Uh-uh, not even an hour. It's usually like this, too. Oh, when Mark says it's usually like this, he's talking about Just the like nights when the weather is right. stable. Six, six, this seven. night, it was oh, perfect. An and Mark went on to take his limit. Yeah. Big walleye are That's more comfortable moving into shallower water to six, feed at night, staying in deeper good, water during the day. Water. They move along structure when they like migrate to feed. Right and Mark right. finds that structure with his graph. Some of it can be real tricky to fish. Just a uh, high structure right in here that comes off the bottom during the lumber days. Uh, they piled up their um, slab wood. They just dumped it off here and it just formed different peaks here and there out in the deep, deep water. So we're looking at wood right there that yeah. silted over and... Yeah, that silted it over, yeah. And uh, you can, and I don't see any wood sticking up, but uh, a lot of times in some places where I fish, you'll see wood sticking up off the bottom here and there. But uh, right here, this is mainly where it's slabs laying down. Those peaks are about uh, f uh, 14 feet from the surface? Yeah, 14, 15 feet from the surface. And then down here, you're getting into 30 feet of water and uh, 20, uh, most of it's 15 right across here though. And there's a few suspended fish, like right there and right there. And this is just interference from the top of the water. A little, because it's kind of warm up towards the top, you get a lot of different readings out of that. Interpreting these readings is what helped makes Mark Martin successful. He does this all at night by flashlight. And as you might guess, he snags his share of expensive lures on the bottom. Hit the lure when it goes down. Well, either either hook. that or hook right onto the lure. Mark is using a lure retriever on a string. Few tackle shops sell them. There? You have to buy yeah. these mail order. Just about, I've maybe. There, I got it. Yeah, there, I got it. You got it? Yeah. You can just let it down there, and it'll slide down, and then it'll get hooked onto the hooks. You can reel it right up by them. This lure retriever is called a hound dog, and for Mark, it's well worth the price. That's right it, for what almost six bucks right there. Saved about a four dollar and some cent lure. You do that a couple times a night. So you save yourself uh, twelve bucks a night, maybe. At least At sometimes, least? sometimes <laughs> more like fifty. <laughs> well, we'll just leave the old hound dog sitting out here. Yeah, it's quite the. Might need him again. Yeah, especially when you're fishing around all these slabs and everything. It Ooh. really uh, makes a difference. Now let's go see if we can get one of these uh, nice uh, walleyes to hold on to it here. Bob Garner took a little while to learn the touch on walleye, and he lost a few. They won't let give you a break, will they, Bob? Oh. It could have been. <laughs> that was a nice one, too, oh. wasn't it? Oh. Is that a nice that one? That is the story of my Muskegon Lake fishing lot. <laughs>
that's the story of my walleye luck right there. <laughs> oh, poor Bob Garner. It was frustrating to watch Mark hook and battle fish after fish and not be able to bring one all the way to the boat. But that's fishing. Every species is different, and each method is different. Big walleye shake their heads, and they throw a lot of hooks. Boy, I thought I had him racked. <laughs> what, did you feel him too? Yeah. There are a number of things that Mark Martin does to increase his success, but one of them is to sharpen hooks. He sharpens them throughout the night, and it gives him an edge. Oh. Razor sharp, aren't they? Yep. See, I'm kind of setting the hook every time. It's a halfway decent one. Now watch the way Mark battles the fish. Keeps constant pressure, arms extended, cushioning the yanks of the fish. Ooh, yeah, this is a oh. fighter. Nice fish. Yeah, this is a nice one here, too. I love when they come up. This, this one's a fighter. This one might not. There are the extended arms, constant pressure, but not horsing the walleye either. That's a nice fish there, too. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know of any guide who has a record like Mark's. Each season, his customers land about 75 walleye that qualify for Master Angler or Stroh's Fishing Awards, all of them at night, all of them on body baits trolled about 15 feet down a long structure. And during hunting season, his success, it increases. There he is. <laughs> Another Muskegon Lake walleye. <laughs> That's right, another one for the frying pan that many anglers would put on the wall. Night real, fishing, that's yeah, not easy, like that but the action can be hot. An Just an idea like you, you might want to try in Michigan outdoors. Okay. That'd be the nuts. 